Well, Barbara's my wife, but I'm having to look after her now. We're both getting on a little bit, but uh, when we came on the first one, this is only the second one we've been on, it gave me a holiday as well as Barbara. And when I went home, I'd had a holiday. And it's only thanks to the Dementia Adventure. Dementia Adventure has a simple mission to support people with dementia, to get outdoors, to get into nature, to continue to enjoy the pastimes and the activities that they love and to help them retain a sense of adventure in their lives. People um, with dementia should be able to still go on holiday. With, with my assistance and three volunteers, um, we can take you anywhere, I would think, anywhere you like. Travel arrangements, tickets, accommodation and itinerary are arranged for you and each couple is supported by a trained Dementia Adventure team member throughout the break. The difference between what we do and a, a, a normal holiday is that we provide lots of support for people of all levels of ability, of all ages, on all sorts of holidays. We found that people are at risk of not getting access to and easy access to the outdoor environments that most of us take for granted and so we adopt a solutions focused approach primarily delivered through training and support programs that enable families, that enable professional carers and, and staff and volunteers and all sorts of organisations to think about how they might enable people with dementia to get outdoors confidently and happily. People living with um, dementia often have very narrow lives. Um, risks are something that's completely taken out of the picture and carers are often looking at the safety of the person with dementia but actually not looking at the adventures um, and the exciting things that we can do in life and that's really what we are advocating um, a lot with our training and, and, and as well with our holidays. We're always looking at the individual and risk is really relative to an individual. Um, we, you know, we might be involved with taking someone whitewater rafting as we did with two ladies up in Scotland because that was on their bucket list. But it might be that it's a walk in the park, it might be something in their garden. It's, it's really individual to that, that, that person. Ever since we started Dementia Adventure we've always strongly focused on research, grounded our work in the evidence that is uh, in existence for people with dementia benefiting from the outdoor activity and we've gone on to publish and, and work with organisations like Natural England and others to uh, publish our own research and can contribute to research papers and chapters on books that all build the evidence base that underpins everything that we do. Funding is so important for Dementia Adventure. It helps us to support more people living with dementia across the UK. We can underwrite the cost of our holidays so that more people can access them. We can uh, provide more training for organisations and we can recruit and train more volunteers. We're really grateful for the support from individuals, so people may give us individual donations or they might decide to take part in a challenge event or organise an event in the community and we're really grateful for those types of donations. Volunteers can give as much or as little of time as they can and they can get involved in lots of enjoyable and exciting ways. We have a bespoke volunteer training programme that covers the ethos that drives Dementia Adventure and we're ensuring that volunteers feel actively ready to support people living with dementia to get out into nature and the outdoors. I volunteer on the holidays so I go off with clients and four couples at a time 
and we go to all sorts of interesting places and have a lot of fun really. I also help in the office and get involved basically wherever I can because it's so much fun to work for Dementia Adventure, they can't keep me away. <laughs>